Sean Angus Brand is back in the starting five. It's been Brand Cook, Brand Cook, and this is probably how they'll settle, you would think, for the rest of the season. I believe he's ready to play in this building and feels real comfortable in here. And more importantly, congrats to Bridget as well, Brad's lovely wife who delivered the baby in recent weeks. Martin back out to Walker, decides to put it on the floor, takes it to the rack. Little this ended up guarding Cotton, so there wasn't no mismatch on the perimeter. There was no down. breakdown on the perimeter. Five on the clock, Lish, four, three, and a dagger! You hit those outside shots yet, and it's working for him. Here's Kenny from outside three, needs to drain that, he does. Had these rules in <laughs> when you were playing. <laughs> Can I just say one thing, is the pass inside's beautiful, the finish even better. It's on. Lish, he's looking good. Look away, pass. Lots of running with the ball in hands from Isaac Humphreys, but there's going to be a foul. They're trying to exploit that, Sydney, especially come here in the second half. Here's Randall again to the foul line. He goes, and that was really, really nice. Break. He'll hold it back with Cook and Martin in his face. To Humphreys. Back into the end. Good play, big man. Terrific basketball once again from the Kings. Range on that elbow. That's his, a lot of his baskets come from that mid-range area. He looks unbeatable at the moment. Walker splashes one down and gives himself the confidence. It was 29 to 14 early in the game. Here's Randall. He's been the master of it all, and he gets another two. He was off balance as well. Though he's got 16 points and killing it. Kenny travelled. Wasn't called. Wagstar four three. Steindl trying to stop Kadee. Somehow he got the shot away under pressure. Tokido there for the crumbs. He'll take it all the way. It's very important for Perk Wildcats. But more important, he got the crowd into it. The crowd erupted on that and one. Now they're into this game. Sydney Kings have to come. Nine on the shot clock, and they've just gathered momentum now with the ball. He goes to the hoop, holds it back, scores it in for the two. Brand had to come a long way out to receive the pass. Wagstaff, been terrific. Kenny, again for three. An unlikely hero, maybe, for the Perth Wildcats. Talking about it earlier in the, uh, before the game, that the Wildcats bench really hasn't given them a lot. Oh. Ankles broken, three-point shot from Kevin Lish. Oh, my goodness. It looked like a pass. That shot didn't go. Wagstaff puts it on the floor with the left hand. And Ali Oak will take it, they say. Walker finishes with a two. And Pino's giving him great minutes here. He's being active, getting some extra possessions. And Kadee scores the two. He'll go to the line for a shot. And you'd say good night, Perth. Performance 27 points to half time. Tokato steals it out of the hands of Blanchfield, round the back. Blanchfield did well to defend him, and Tokato scores a two. Scores, but let's keep it real tonight. Bryce Cotton only scores when Jerome Randall was not on the court. A steal, Tokato to the hands of Cotton. He's just got to shoot from three, misses. Tokato gets it again, charges it, and wraps it in the hoop. Walker out towards Kenny in the corner. That one misses. Tokoto rebounds. Tries to put it back up and scores the two. Lots of seconds though ticked away. As Kenny goes for the long bomb. Doesn't matter. Take a bow, Andrew Gaze. Superb performance from you and your team.